Avatar The Last Airbender is an animated TV show that came out on the Nickelodeon channel back in February of 2005. For every victory, Not bad. there is another challenge. And it was an absolute game changer. As a kid, I remember waiting for those first episodes to premiere. And now, still to this day, it is one of my favorite shows of all time. And in February of 2024, Netflix is releasing a new retelling or adaptation of the story in live action. And I hope the folks over at Netflix understand what they have here, because it's definitely something special. Now, looking back on this cartoon that captured so many hearts and somehow stands among the greats of TV, the question is, can Netflix really pull this off? What are you doing? I'm mugging you! With that stance? What? What are you talking about? Just give me your money, old man! Because I think sometimes there's concerns with adaptations like this, right? That people who never experienced the original version of the story will associate the brand, so to speak, with the newer, worse version that perhaps got more attention. And then that leaves the original fans in this weird disconnect of watching their favorite thing become misunderstood and remembered in the public consciousness as something different. But hey, I hope we get something good. I'm so curious because no matter what they put out, for me, it's going to be impossible not to watch. The prospect of revisiting this iconic story in a new format is undeniably intriguing. And that's why they're making it. That cloud kind of looks like a fluffy bunny. You better hope that's not a bunny. The fluffy bunny cloud forecasts doom and destruction. Do you even hear yourself? And so as we anticipate the release, I invite you to share your thoughts in the comments. Are you as curious as I am? What does Avatar mean to you? And what do you think or hope we'll see in this new chapter? And if you don't feel like sharing anything, that's okay too. Because you can just hit that like button. Listen. 2005 era Nickelodeon is not to be trifled with. At least, not in my book. That's around the time of Drake and Josh. Hug me, brother. Not here, man. There's people. <laughs> <laughs> Quick one. Danny Phantom. Wow, you have access to the latest technology after hours? Yep. What else can you do after hours? Ned's declassified? Do me too, dude. I hear you're trying to steal my thunder. It was an accident. It will never happen again. That's right, because this is my house. There's only one master blaster. Toot, toot. The SpongeBob movie? Hey, I thought you didn't have a driver's license. You don't need a license to drive a sandwich. Zoe 101? There's a reason those don't have the same kind of legacy as Avatar. Avatar does a masterful job of telling its story in a foreign but still grounded world. It's easily accessible to kids and adults alike, and it does a great job balancing world-ending stakes, humor, and universal themes. Each new episode advances a larger story and narrative while also endearing you to the world and connecting you more to the characters. And that's not really something you see in a lot of kids' television shows. I would have figured something out. No! If his friends hadn't found you, you would have frozen to death. <sighs> I know my own destiny, Uncle. Is it your own destiny? Or is it a destiny someone else has tried to force on you? Every time I find myself re-watching the show, I always find new things to appreciate as my own perspectives grow and change over the years. And the characters really stick with you. They all feel like real, complex people thrust into extraordinary circumstances while struggling with deep flaws and just trying to do their best in a very cruel world. You get to understand what these characters value, where they want to go in life, and what their insecurities are. And it does this while also keeping a very lighthearted spirit when it needs to. Forget kid shows. Most entertainment does not achieve this, at least not as well. And I think a lot of other people have had a similar experience with this show. I mean, look at this. 
a 9.3 on IMDb. That's like the seventh highest rated TV show on the platform, a kid show. Mm hmm. That's right. Scrolling through the top classics on IMDb, you'll find hits like Breaking Bad, Band of Brothers, The Wire, The Sopranos, and what? Avatar The Last Airbender all in the top 10. What the heck, man? And if you look at something else like Rotten Tomatoes, you'll see this. Dang, those are some fresh tomatoes. Now I get it. Review aggregators have their problems, their biases, whatever. They're not the be all end all. But the point still stands. People love this show a lot. But while I know Avatar has a significant fan base, I don't know. If you weren't a kid at the time when it came out in 2005, or if you didn't have kids at the time who were watching it, I just don't know how likely it is you would have ever really paid any attention to Avatar. I mean, if you yourself watching this video are not currently a kid, how many animated shows marketed to children do you find yourself watching these days? Maybe there's a few, sure, but I would guess it's pretty rare. Be honest, are you out here watching Big Nate? Uh-huh. That's no offense to Big Nate, by the way. I don't really know anything about you. You sound tough though. Please don't beat me up. I'm just an idiot with a microphone. But that's all to say that with a live action adaptation coming out on the world's largest streaming service, Netflix, and in the age of social media buzz, there's the potential for a lot of eyes to be on this version of Avatar. This may become the most well-known telling of the story. Soon, when people think about Avatar, it may be this, not this. Eh, who am I kidding? For the vast majority of people, it's always going to be this. But you know what? That's probably okay. Just as long as it's not this. Oh my gosh, what do I even say about the last Airbender movie? It's bad? Because it is. It could probably be a case study in how not to do an adaptation. My name is Ong. And I'm the Avatar. I ran away. But I'm back now. It's time for you to stop doing this! The Avatar would have to be an airbender. Are you an airbender boy? <laughs> Leave him alone! And trauma to the fan base like that is why fans today would not be crazy for having some apprehension about a new live action version of the story. Well, at least I can say that once I accepted that movie for what it was, it did give me some great laughs. So, Avatar The Last Airbender, its story, its characters, it's all iconic, and it captivated me as a kid, and I still find myself thinking about it here like 18 years later. And I know there are other people out there in the same boat, because not to get too dramatic here, but stories, art, when done well, they can have that kind of effect on people. The original animated series left an enduring impact like that. But will the new rendition on Netflix capture what made Avatar beloved? I guess only time will tell. And thanks for watching. If you made it this far in the video, I appreciate you. Consider hitting the like button and subscribing. It means a lot. And I hope to see you in the next video.